So at this point I want to show you and talk to you a little bit about introducing a new way of having video on our page and that's by creating what's called a HTML5 page. Now if you remember way back in the beginning of our video tutorials we did briefly mention that when you create a new file you could create a new file with the doc type that was specific for a HTML5 document. We also mentioned that HTML5 is the newest version of HTML and it's where things are going towards but not all browsers support it. For example all of the Internet Explorer browsers do not support hardly any of the features on uh, in HTML5. Um, for the most part Safari does, Google Chrome does, as too does some versions of well, at least 3.0 versions or 3.01 versions and higher of Firefox will do as well on the um, Windows system, but not every tag is supported. So, but nevertheless, I want to show you a little bit about it and how it's going to work. So, if you remember, we had created a template. I'm going to do something that's completely different because all of the files that we're working with here are quite simply in uh, excuse me the stitch in time and I'm pointing to the stitch in time final here so you could do the same if you wish and what I'm doing is we're gonna create a new HTML document so HTML layout none in this case layout none I'm not creating from a template I'm just creating a blank page that we want to test with you may or may not choose to put this into your browser and we'll see what's gonna happen so I'm gonna choose the doc type HTML5 now before I do anything else, let's save this file and you'll notice I'm just going to save it inside of the stitch in time, well chapter 7, stitch in time, not the start, but here I'm using the final. And I'll go to the web folder and in here, instead of saying video.html, I'm just going to say h5 or html5 underscore video test. So we'll use this and you can see if your browsers that you're using can support the HTML5 video tag. So again, not something that we can insert using Dreamweaver necessarily at this point. So I'm just going to enter in some information in my code view. So I'm going to switch to code view and I'm going to just show you what it looks like. Here I have a video tag and a closing video tag. Yes, that's right. You don't need any fancy plugins or anything like that. It just works with the simple video tag. That is amazing. Amazing. It's really great. So look what we're going to do. We're going to say in the attributes for the first video file, we're going to give it a width. We're using the same Superman video, so 320 and a height of 240. And the reason we do this 240 instead of 256 as we did in the previous, in the previous one we had to give 16 pixels of extra space on the height for the controls. However, the default video here, the controls are embedded in part of the height. So we don't need to add any extra. We just give the actual height value and notice we do want to see controls so we'll say controls equals controls and that's in the first video tag and then we have a closing video tag now inside of that video tag you can write a little bit of text like I did here and it says your browser does not support the video tag meaning if your browser browser doesn't support it that's the text that you'll see if it does support it the text will be obscured by the video that's on top of it so that's great so notice what we do to get the video inside of that tag. You create what's called here the source tag. And SRC, we're pointing to, in this case, since I saved it in the same folder here, we're jumping out of the web and we're trying to find the video here. So I said dot dot slash, go to the video folder, find me, Superman underscore the mechanical monsters, mp4 close your quotations and then we say what type of video is this well you can see it's a mp4 so we say video slash mp4 great now if we go to the design view what does the design view show me it says your browser does not support the video tag and normally that's what we would see if you had an older browser or a version of Internet Explorer that does not support this tag however if I were to preview this in a browser that does support it for example Safari does and I'm going to save this and open it up and check it out. Doesn't play by default, but if you click on the plus sign, you've got your Superman movie again. And look, that's the default HTML5 supported browser controller for video. Let me just turn that off. And as you can see, it automatically supports the full screen option, which is really nice. It also has, you know, mute control 
and here this is not really um, as you can see you could reload it and open it up and, and that's something that's specific to the browser that you're in but nevertheless as you can see that's a great way to introduce video into your work but again I'm reluctant to put this in the larger picture because it's only supported by certain browsers but as of 2010 when this recording was taking place only a few browsers supported it but more browsers will be supporting it in the future and that's a great thing because it really simplifies a lot on how to work with video and what to do with that video element and it's really quite simple just one little line of code is really all we need to embed that video no extra information necessary so that's a little bit about the video and its support in HTML5.